Travis, after what seems like years of toiling through shit, hmm. through fighting like hell, oh. tooth and nail, I have finally done it. I have brought myself from the depths, from the bottom, and lifted myself up to the top and touched God. That seems like you were having it pretty rough, man. You're okay? Like you're rising like a phoenix. You all right? Oh, what happened? I am. What happened? I got a PS5. Yeah! Fuck it, we're doing it live. My guy's got a PS5. Ow! Oh, man. Oh, I'm so excited, dude. It, it literally, I have fought for this. Like, it's the pre order debacle. When they, it's been rough. Dude, like, the. Since the pre-order debacle, like when they when they dropped the pre-orders early and let everybody pop in, like you know the day before, completely, I was set. I was set. I was set for that night. I was mm -hmm. like, boom! Once they drop this pre-order things, I'm in. No, totally got lost. The thing was effed from the beginning. It was, um, and they came out, couldn't get it. Tried like so many, you know, the bot hacks, the people on the on marketplace and you know eBay trying to scam everybody into paying higher prices. Mm -hmm. All the BS. Um, Every time, like getting back on Twitter, getting on all these media sites and following all these people just to see when like systems were gonna be in dropped, I, I finally, finally landed one. Yeah, uh, even and, I was and, helping you. Like I, I was, I was like notifying yeah. you, hey dude, it's a, it's, a, it's a Sony drop coming on, and mm -hmm. I was in there trying to get, you know, trying to uh, snag one for you as well. And like, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Like we we came out fruitless, but the important thing yeah. is we're here now, and now in yeah. your entertainment center. Is a PlayStation. So here's five. the thing: if you haven't gotten one yet, just hang in there. Keep watching the drops. It gets You'll better. Get it. <laughs> it gets better, guys. I, I promise. Know, so I don't care anymore. So here we go. Uh, first impressions, man. Uh, this system is awesome. Uh, yeah. You know, let, me, let me let me back up. I have an Xbox Series X. I got that right after it dropped. Mm -hmm. I was able to get that. That was fairly easy. I was like, oh crap. Okay, cool. Um. Luckily, I did because I waited like three or four months in order to get a PS5. Uh, so here we are. I, I got the Xbox Six Series X. Great. But we're not here to talk about Xbox. We're here to talk about the big boy, the bad boy, the PS5. Um, and so she is a big boy. Uh, <laughs> that is for sure. That is yeah, a huge uh, bitch. Huge system. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it, it's a big one. Uh, so it was <laughs> girthy uh, and, and really kind of felt heavy in the hands, you know, but it's, it's, it's power. It's raw power in there. Um, so got it all set up, hooked it up to my TV, um, you know, transferred all my stuff over, got <laughs> the games in. Um, of course, I got a bundle system, so I got the um, uh, Spider-Man uh, Miles Morales, which comes with the Spider-Man remastered, mm -hmm. and I also got uh, Demon's Souls. Good man. Which, you know, yeah, Good played game. on PS3 when that first came out. Uh, fantastic game. Looking forward to playing this. Uh, but first... I'm a huge Spidey fan. Uh, so popped right in and just started it over. I said, you know what? I'm not going to go right to Miles Morales. Oh, wow. Uh, this system, yeah, the system's supposed to be fantastic, right? I wanted to go in. You talked about, you know, the frame rates and per second and everything, the performance RT mode that they had in Spider-Man. Yeah, so, so, so I, when Spider-Man, the remaster first came out, of course, when you played on PS4, Spider-Man was mm -hmm. only in, I like, I think it was like a, it was a solid 30 frames per second, but it was a max uh, resolution of 1080p. Um, and then when the remaster came out, they, you know, of course, it, it uses the power of the PlayStation's uh, hard drive to give you, like, no load times whatsoever, which is great. Mm -hmm. Um, but on top of that, it also increases performance. And when I first got like Miles Morales in Spider-Man Remaster, they had two different modes that you can choose from. And that's what's great about these systems. They actually have performance modes that you can, like, if you want more quality and resolution, or if you want more speed and, you know, better frame rate, which is what I usually go for. Um, and so we only had an option for like the awesome 4k with ray tracing technology quality mode, but at 30 frames per second, or you have the performance mode at 60 frames per second, which runs buttery smooth, but it removed the ray tracing. So like when you're swinging by the buildings, you didn't get the, the, the perfect reflections, uh, of Spider-Man swinging by, or like if you're walking next to a car or a, above a puddle or anything like that, he wouldn't mm -hmm. have those reflections. And that kind of hurt. So I played 
Miles Morales and a little bit of the remaster in quality mode because I wanted the ray. I have a PS5. I want the ray tracing. So it was one of the few times where I opted against the 60 frames per second. But after I was done with Spider-Man, they released performance ray tracing mode. I don't know what kind of magic they pulled, but they were able to get like really high resolution with ray tracing at 60 frames per second. And it is the only way now to play Spider-Man. And I'm glad that you love it. It's so oh, man. Nice. Yeah. It, okay, so before I uh, disconnected my PS4, I popped in Spider-Man. Um, I didn't pop it in. I already had it downloaded to my system. But, you know, terminology. Uh, so I went ahead and started playing it. And I was like, okay, cool, boom. You know, web swing in. One of the best parts about the game. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all right, cool. Got the PS5 hooked up. Put it in. And just instantly, man, I was just like, whoa, this it's, is... It's night and day. Beautiful. Man, it is... <sighs> It is, it is gorgeous. Uh, it, I was so happy to see this game look the way that it does, performing the way that it does on this only like, near quiet system for how big it is, you know, and everything. I expected to get that it's whisper, or like whisper, girl, quiet. girl, hum, um, but very quiet. Uh, barely hear it, uh, except for when you are loading a game onto the system. I did notice it did kick up and then you had that, that, hum, that hum to it. But once the game was loaded, um, you know, pretty quiet. So no, you know nothing wrong with there. Loading screens, fantastic. Um, everything just seems seamless, and it had no hiccups, no glitches, or anything like that so far. Knock on that wood. Mm -hmm. um, and just overall fantastic experience with the game. Um, you know that's that's me talking about the first game and the first thing that I did. But so let me get back to the system a little bit, real quick before we leave Spider Man. So there was quite a bit of uh, controversy. Um, mm -hmm. regarding Spider-Man because they changed the the face of Peter Parker. Right. And the internet lost its mind. I, for one, mm -hmm. really like the change. Um, I, 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 I agree. I think it looks better. He looked way better. Yeah, he looked kind of messed up, you know? Weird, like kind the of like a weird wide chad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. And, and I liked that Peter Parker, but when they made the change, I there was no going back for me. And also I'm a huge Tom Holland fan. I like what Tom Holland's doing with this iteration of Spider-Man and this new face model really looks like Tom Holland, let's be Very real. Similar, yeah. So like I'm a huge fan of that. I, I don't I don't mind it. So I was curious about how you felt about that. I'm 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 happy that we it wasn't even a thing for me. I, I liked the change. I thought it looked better. Uh completely fine with it. One hundred percent wasn't even a thing for me. Cool. And like I said, game over overall so far is fantastic and i can't wait to hop into the miles morales uh, but like i said i wanted to get back to the system a little bit um so obviously setting everything up uh one thing that i didn't necessarily like mm. which i did have on you know the series x was atmos uh dolby atmos because i do have a 7.1 surround sound mm. and i love using it i love feeling and getting that immersion of the games and everything um i do know that sony has their own you know uh you know, sound tech that they have, but they do not offer Atmos at all. And so my system in the game, like my um, my audio receiver, doesn't pick up everything the way that I feel it should. Mm. And it's just a little, uh, a little disheartening that they didn't have, you know, these kind of things available. That was something that was boom right off the bat with uh, with the Series X. Because uh, I think, you know, Dolby is a very important part of, you know, everything in, you know, entertainment right now, especially mm -hmm. with, you know, sound and visual they, they, they should have had, you know, something like this. Of course, I'm not going to, you know, question Sony. Maybe there is a rhyme and reason. Maybe their system is going to be fantastic because when I did put on my headphones, which I'm using the PS4, and I've actually talked to you as soon as I put them on for the first moment, I put on the uh, my PS4 um, Sony um, Gold headphones, mm -hmm. you know, from from the last gen. Yep. I plugged it in, uh, went through the system settings, did the 3D pulse, and man, as soon as I went to go get my level of listening that they asked you for, I was just like so blown away by how, the, how that test sounded. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow. So I've been playing the game with my headphones on and it sounds really great. Um, so I can't wait to get the new generation headphones to see what that's going to offer with the whole 3D pulse, you know, sound system for the headphones. But Sony, come on, let's get some Atmos or let's get something where all the channels are working correctly for your um, yeah. audio receivers I, because I, I love my throne sound. I bought it for a reason. I wouldn't be surprised if that came in later in like some sort of patch or update for uh for sony like atmos is uh one of those things where it's it's kind of like the creme de la creme of home 
uh, surround sound entertainment and everything. Uh, so I, I, I can't imagine that, that not coming one day, you know, mm-hmm. with it not being there now. Um, so I, I would say exude a little bit of patience. I'd, I'd be shocked if there, you didn't see it. It's another thing that's not going to come, and I'm 100% sure of this, uh, neither systems, uh, Next Gen, Series X, or the PS5, have 3D hard drives for playing 3D Blu-ray. They are not going forward with it anymore. Of course, a lot of TV uh, you know, makers, they stopped offering uh, 3D capability mm-hmm. uh, for a lot of the TVs. And they ended like 2016, 2017. Yeah. Um, but I still have like a, uh, an earlier model from 2016 3D TV. And so I like popping in, you know, some of the 3D movies that I have because there's a yeah. lot that came out and I have a lot of those Blu-rays. And yeah, cannot use it on the next-gen system. So I was kind of like, yeah, oh, well, that's that was crazy. a gimmick that kind of... My- it, that was, it was fun of, though and it looks really great on my tv uh yeah. but yeah i do realize it's completely dead now i'm gonna have to upgrade my tv it's all, and get, it's all you know, vr like, you know that's future the, proof my system for what the ps5 can do now and of course what's going to be able to do going forward yeah i'm gonna have to upgrade my tv to 120 hertz i don't think we have to do it immediately at this point um if you have a mm-hmm. 60 hertz tv it's good enough for right now there there will be a point where maybe two or three years from now where every game will have 120 Hertz option. But I just don't think that that's anytime soon. Like give me a reason Sony to buy or Microsoft to to buy a new goddamn TV and I'll do it. But right now it's It's just (laughs) right. Yeah, It's coming, but right now it's not necessary. At least the first like exclusive Microsoft or exclusive Sony game that says, okay, we are going to have 8k resolution. That will also push me to getting a new TV. Speaking of upgrading the resolutions, I did mess around with that God of War. Today got a 60 um, uh, a 60 frame per second and 4K patch. It's true final next-gen patch. Uh, it's not native 4K. It's only checkerboarded at 2160, so it's not full, full 4K, but it's simulated 4K. Um, still, nonetheless, looks great. I played like the first hour of the game, and it is phenomenal. I've been busting this guy's balls that he hasn't played Last of Us 1 nor 2. And I'm going to come back and say, I do think that before you play those games, you need to play God of War first if you haven't played it yet. Because so, going back into God of War, I was like, yeah, that's better. First, or do you want me to play God of War first? I think you, you need to play, play Spider-Man first. Because okay? I, I got Spider-Man and I really got to play through that. And then still got to beat Cyberpunk, you know, got a little bit left in that on the, uh, the old Series X. <laughs> uh, and then... You know, I mean, we got to battle things here right now. We got a whole bunch of movies coming out. There's still WandaVision every week. I mean. And we got this YouTube show we're trying to lift off on the ground. Yeah. Uh, Work. Trust me. Relationships. There is plenty of time in the day for all that other stuff. This is what's important. Video games and putting out steady content on this show, ladies and gentlemen, just for you. Yeah, pretty much. Here we go. <laughs> but you're, but overall, you're, you're, pretty, uh, you're pretty sassified, right? With the, with, with the, with the oh, purchase. Man. Was it worth? Um, was it worth the wait? Two, two, two thumbs up, uh, fun for the whole family. And I guess since I got the performance uh, RT um, mode in Spider Man, as soon as I picked it up, I guess yeah, it was worth the wait because I'm getting some of the patches and software updates and everything that came through the system and yep. games. I mean, God of War just dropped today too, so yeah, I think I kind of maybe won on that. Got rid of some of the BS that everybody had to wait on, mm-hmm. and now I'm starting to get some of the good patches and updates, and everything's kind of rolling in for me. Mm, yeah, so, yeah. Um, it, it sucked because you know I was kind of worried. Um, and I, I got to a point where I was like, you know what? I don't even need a new system right now. It's okay. I'm just gonna watch everybody else talk about their PS5, and I'll be perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just dying a little bit inside. That FOMO's this, a this bitch, is man. Time. <laughs> the first time since the PlayStation Two. This is the first time since PlayStation Two that I did not have the new PlayStation on day one release date. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's tough. So. Yeah, got it now, though. I'm super happy. Uh, PS5, uh, great job. Looks beautiful. The interface, um, you know, we we talked about this. This feels like a real next-gen system because the Xbox Series X, it just flowed through from what Xbox One was doing. Uh, Everything looks the same. Everything feels the same. Getting into the PS5 was completely different from the PS4. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I love the interface. It's very easy to um, to, uh, map and go through and navigate and... Like I said, they did a great job with everything. And of course, you know, we're going to do more videos because now we both have those systems. Mm-hmm. So we'll be able to talk about some more games and everything. And hopefully, uh, we, you know, we'll get the camera, do some broadcasting and mm-hmm. uh, kind of show everybody, you know, what we do and um, some of the games that we enjoy and how we play. What we do and how we do it. 
Well, I'm happy, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy for you. I'm happy we can start playing some games. Uh, we got to find some fun little arcadey games to mess around with too at night. You know, light, nice little uh, drink inebriation nights like Fall Guys or something fun like that. We'll uh, we'll, we'll mess yeah. around. We'll find some fun things to play. Uh, but if you got some fun things to play, ladies and gentlemen, you let us know. We will be there to play with you. We know we, we need to add our uh, PlayStation and Microsoft accounts under here for our uh, like under our Twitter and Instagram. Should we? That's that's a nice oh, little idea. We should over here. right right here, right beep, 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 beep. right there. Yeah, we should add that. We, you know what? Next video, we're gonna have our video game information on the box here. So how about that? You let us know mm -hmm. what games you're excited about. Yeah. yeah, and also tell Peel what games to play because he's there's a ton of first party PlayStation games that he's not played yet, and he needs to be shamed into playing those. So I used sure to be the one telling him about this stuff. Indeed, indeed. But it ain't like that no mo. Just like this episode, <laughs> ain't no mo. Take care, guys. Have a good one. We love you. Take care. I already said that. See ya. Bye bye. Bye bye. What a fantastic video. I'm gonna tell you, probably our best yet. And Peel, that one thing that you said, I completely agree with 100%. Very astute comment by you, good sir. Oh, I do. Thank you. And I appreciate that. But I couldn't have done it without you, my friend. Uh, you are the wind beneath my wings. And on that note, please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Till next time.